Test-driven development is an effective practice to develop reliable code. We have seen that, as complexity of a software system grows, it is not possible to formally prove its correctness. The only solution is to put the system to the test. Moreover, while developing an application, it is advisable to be goal-driven. To have clear in mind what the objective is and how the code should function when presented with a given test. In a nutshell, test-driven development begins at the end, with the goal in mind, and works its way back to a code that delivers that goal. In summary, one first develops a test procedure, and then delivers a piece of code that make the test succeed. To carry out test-driven development, we will rely on package unit test, which is readily available in Python. We will develop a test case for our counter class. Note that normally, one sets up the test case before developing the counter class. Let's create a test folder in package counter package. We include file init.py in a module test counter.py. We import package unit test. We also import counter module, which will contain our class counter. Then we create a class test counter, which will test our counter class. In our test case, we test methods increment and get value. Next, we implement class counter with its two methods increment and get value. We can now right click on module test underscore counter and select option run all unit tests. If no test framework has been set up yet, Visual Studio Code will ask you if you want to set up one. Select enable and configure a test framework, and choose unit test as test framework. Choose counter underscore package directory as the directory containing unit tests. And finally select the pattern to identify test files. In our case test underscore asterisk dot py. Annotations for running tests will appear on the top of relevant classes and test cases. The test framework is now ready to use. If we now run test case test counter, a failure is observed. Let's view the unit test output. As expected, the failure is due to method increment, which increments by two units rather than one. Let's fix the error in class counter. And rerun the test. Now the tests succeed. As you modify your code, you should regularly verify that your code keeps passing all tests.